So we're in the car to Andorra. We're almost uh, yeah, driving through Paris. And as you can see behind me, the car is pretty full over there. Two bikes in the car, two bikes outside of the car. And everything yeah, fitted in the car, so that was good. So now it's time to introduce my mate who is going with me to Andorra, or I'm going with him to Andorra maybe. And this guy uh, has been with me for two months in Girona in 2020. So uh, I know him pretty well already. And I think he's one of the best cyclists in triathlon scene at the moment. And yeah, here we go. It is I... the German guy Ruben Sapunke. So uh, yeah, Ruben, tell a little bit about yourself. Yeah, um, I'm a former pro cyclist now. Uh... Being a, trying to be a triathlete or at least uh, try to swim well and uh, run well and yeah so far it's good um, thank you Milan for joining me in Andorra for some good training and yeah three weeks of altitude training I think it's it's really good for us to yeah when it comes closer to the season um, to spice up the training and um, yeah just to be ready why do you think it's good to go to altitude Oh, why it's not good. Um, I think for sure the the air is thinner, so uh, we have more red blood cells after that, and then so we can transform uh, more oxygen in our blood and so to our muscles yep. and to the brain's brain as well. So uh, it's, I think it's good for us. Sounds good. Well, uh, yeah, we're going to the to the big mountain of uh, well the the big big mountains of the Pyrenees and, uh, and Andorra and I have never been to an altitude training camp before Ruben has done it before also in the spirit of cycling and uh, yeah looking forward to three weeks of uh, thin air hopefully uh, be uh, yeah be really strong when we come back down <laughs> Your comment. Wow. So back in Holland or Germany it was perfect perfect weather, blue skies, sun. And then we go on training camp to altitude and you get snow. Yeah. Of course it's quite possible when you go to above 2000 meters, but you gotta deal with it. And now we're just running up the Pas de la Casa. Pic de la Maya. Pic de la Maya, so up to about 2,300 or 400 meters altitude. 2,450. Wow. So. It's more climbing than when I'm used <laughs> at home in Holland. Your comment for your, our rest day? Yeah, so it's uh, our third full day here in Andorra and we we're already doing a little bit easier day today so uh, just to get used to uh, the training and on altitude and the first few days are quite easy so no intensity stuff 
We are doing a nice little, well, not little, nice hike or walk. And yeah, it's uh, snowing. So that's good for the rest day, I think. But uh, yeah, if you look around, it's so beautiful over here. It's very cool to, uh, to be able to yeah, do some stuff in the mountains over here. So uh, yeah, first few days, uh, first uh, few days were quite good. Everything's fine. The swimming pool is very nice. Uh, it's, it's just uh, on the other side of the mountain. And we're taking the bus to get there through the tunnel. Now we're running, man. And now we're running. <laughs> we're run hopefully in the next couple of days, the weather is going to be a little bit better and we can do some yeah, longer rides on the bike and yeah, get, to, get to know the area a little bit better. But uh, So far it's nice. So far it's good. Milan, where are we going to? So we're going to the swimming pool and yeah, because it's our rest day, just an easy swim just to keep in touch with the feeling of the swimming and yeah, I will show you how cool the swimming pool over here is 